Uh, on behalf of the management and staff of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the wider capital market stakeholders, I welcome the management of Forte Oil to this fact behind the figures presentation. The Nigerian Stock Exchange would like to commend you for your prompt response to the request by stockbrokers for a fact behind the figures presentation to provide the market with more information about exciting developments within the company. In fact, the group uh, CEO of uh, Forte Hall uh, told me that this is probably the first fact behind the figures of Forte Hall, which shows the increasing trend to actually adopt the highest levels of corporate governance. Yeah, the current airport is actually built on three pillars. And the first of that being to um, build a long term successful company. Um, the second one is to boost investor confidence. And the third one is to create a robust and sustainable returns to our shareholders. So that is what drives us as a company. And that is why we had to um, restructure. Um, and part of why we are here is um, the, the three pillars which I just told you about is built on this uh, bedrock of strong and uh, solid corporate governance, which includes disclosure and transparency, i.e. providing the market with accurate and timely information from time to time for investors uh, to make decisions at any given time. So this is what we have. My photo of PLC, um, we are an indigenous petroleum marketing company. We have a retail presence of close to 550 retail outlets spread evenly across Nigeria. Um, we also have uh, we also um, we also have uh, terminals, uh, LPG plants. Uh, and also the bulk distribution facilities uh, that, that actually lead our marketing activities. And under 41 PLC, you basically have four subsidiary companies. The first one is AP Oil Field Services Limited, uh, which is practically involved in the provision of drilling fluids and production chemicals to upstream oil and gas companies in Nigeria. Uh, that's the business. Of Apos, we, we refer to that company as Apos. Very strong uh, in the upstream services business, particularly as it regards production chemicals and drilling fluids. Uh, indigenous company taking advantage of the local content uh, environment right now. We also have AP Oil and Gas Ghana (APOG), which is basically replicating the business model in Nigeria, uh, in Ghana ownership of a few outlets, rapid business expansion, taking advantage of the mining business in Ghana to, to, uh, uh, to, to market uh, petroleum products, which includes lubricants, greases, and also uh, refined petroleum uh, products, gas oil, PMS, and the like. So it's a replication of our business model in Nigeria. Then we have Imperial Power Distribution Company Limited, which is the latest right, right at the moment, rather. Um, as you know, this um, is a subsidiary of ours, and um, we've just taken ownership of a 51% stake um, in the 414 megawatt Kerego power plant. Uh, this is very recent, as you know, and um, takeover is built within the next few weeks. Uh, finance income, as you can see there, finance expenses, net finance costs, profit before tax, 1.663 billion compared to 1.062 billion uh, income tax expenses. As you can see there, there's profit after taxation, so about 1.391 billion compared to 855.537 million in 2012. Um, suffice to say that this is a company that declared close to 20 billion at a loss in 2011. Um, so clearly, we can all see that we're beginning to yield the fruits from or the fruits of our transformation efforts as we move on year to year. And what we expect is for these numbers to grow, and of course, more share, more more uh, returns for our shareholders um, as we progress from year to year. Um, 
you can see our market position uh, compared over the years in terms of numbers and positions. And uh, it shows that we <coughs> are actually making some progress. And ultimately, by 2015, that will be uh, ultimate goal in terms of percentages. That's what you can see in that slide. What we're going to do is have a niche for ourselves in our generation, to so have a power generation entity, which today is uh, Amperium. Yeah. Um, power and gas, of course, relates to energy, defining our petrochemicals, um, and disposed of earlier. Uh, short to medium term, in terms of our expanding our business outlets within Nigeria and of course along the west coast of Africa. Um, we go to the, and of course ultimate uh, goal is to be the number one in the solutions provider across Africa. And uh, I think that's uh, the presentation. So,